Balenciaga Age of Tomorrow. What happens when a high art fashion company decides to make a video game? Things get weird. Before we begin, let me just say that I enjoy fashion as an art form. Nothing that I am about to say is meant to be taken as disrespectful, though I may in fact uh, sound quite critical at times. Like with any art form, it can help to understand a distinction between fashion as a tool or as a craft, and fashion as a means for communicating an idea. Whether the clothing is warm enough, made of quality material, fits into a budget, fits into the color or theme of the outfit, etc. This is similar to realism in illustration or photography. I'm serving the external goal of, look, here is a good shirt that you can wear. However, when we treat an art form as a means of communication, there is an interplay between the information coming into us and how the idea impacts us. We want to include our internal thoughts, feelings, and reactions. We want to instill in the observer our own associations between the object and our own subjectivity. The only real difference is that, as a craft, our subjective preconceived associations are still present, but not the primary goal of the art. But as a communication, we put the subjective association on the forefront. The ideas are the point. High fashion is that second kind of art. It is about communication of an idea. If you are the kind of person with no interest in fashion, this may seem a little silly. Admittedly, fashioneers can be a little navel-gazing. People will often act like they know something simply to appear knowledgeable. But in this regard, video games aren't exempt from this kind of navel-gazing. Pretty much every time someone says the word visceral or the dark souls of, it is clear that they are lacking the language they need to actually explain why something was good on its own terms. Now world-renowned fashion label Balenciaga is making a video game to advertise their new art line of clothing. Here is a great opportunity to ask Balenciaga, does the game have anything unique to communicate about the underlying ideas that inspired the fashion in gaming spaces? Or is it ultimately only a cynical marketing tactic, a sign pointing back at itself and saying, hey, buy my clothes? This trailer, however, is a goddamn horror game. The dead-faced, professionally aloof expression of a runway model translates into 3D models as the suspicious stares of comic shop dungeon boys when a woman opens the front door. What attempts to be a mixture of the medieval and the modern with an environmentalist lean is in fact a pointless facsimile of decent texture and lighting work in a nonsensical stitching of two different scenes in an ultimately bland walking simulator that lacks any story. You can read up on Balenciaga Age of Tomorrow on UnrealEngine.com and multiple fashion blogs and smaller games journalism outlets covered the story. So. All right, I'm sold. It's free to play, so I won't judge a book by its trailer. Let's go to dimensionstudios.co and download this game. Okay, I got a link here that says uh, play the game. And it takes me to videogames.balenciaga.com. And it says watch the trailer video and look book which shows off pictures of the 3D models from the trailer. This isn't a game! It's a weird rave trailer made in Unreal Engine. Make a real game, Balenciaga, you pretentious little mo- And stay true.